Welcome back to Device to Setup channel again, and today we will learn how to set up BroStrand AX3000 Wi Fi 6 range extender. So, this guide works for all BroStrand Wi Fi extender models. Now, there are two methods to set this up first is via WPS, and second is via browser. So, let's learn the WPS setup first. In this, you will first have to plug the extender in the same room as your router and wait until the power LED on it starts blinking red which usually takes around 60 seconds after this press the wps button on the side of the extender for around two seconds next press the wps button on the router after successful wps connection you will be able to see the newly set up extender with underscore exe suffix after your home network in your Wi-Fi list. You can now connect your phone or computer to this Wi-Fi network. Moreover, if WPS setup is not working for you, then it is possible that the WPS is disabled on the router. Watch our video here on how to enable WPS on the router. Now the second method is set up via browser. So for this, plug the extender into a power outlet near your router and wait for at least one minute. Then on your phone, computer or MacBook, Go to the Wi-Fi list and look for BroStrand underscore EXT or BroStrand underscore 5G EXT. Next, tap on it to connect to it. Once connected, the setup window will pop up automatically. If it doesn't, then open a browser on the very same device and into the URL type BroStrandWiFi.com and hit enter. This will bring the login page. If it doesn't, then type 192. Dot one six eight dot zero dot two five four into the URL and hit enter. This will also bring the extender's login page for you. The setup page will then ask you to create a login password. Afterwards, it will ask you to select the router's Wi Fi SSID that you want to extend and type its password for verification. Next, you will have to select the SSID of 5 GHz. Now, if you don't use 5 GHz, then you can skip this step or else select and type its password to use it on the next screen you can customize your extender's wi-fi name or else hit apply settings the extender will take around 120 seconds to save them and after this you will be able to connect to different devices to the extender's wi-fi network that will be visible in your wi-fi list now if none of the above method works for you then we recommend you to reset the extender and then try the setup again. Now you can reset the BroStrand extender by putting a paper clip inside the reset hole of the extender for around 10 seconds while the extender is still plugged into the wall. Moreover, in case you want to learn how to log in into the extender after the setup, then watch our video here on how to do it. Lastly, if you found the video useful, then do kindly show your love and support by giving a video a thumbs up and please do subscribe to my channel. Moreover, in case your gadget is not working, then you can get in touch with the Brostrand support. So thank you and have a wonderful day.